was in the Knights Templar, gives some history background, some history information, and my visual is a crusader helmet someone passes around because I got it for a Halloween costume and I was like, why not? And so uh, the first crusade started as a campaign to retake the Holy Land. Uh, it was kind of like uh, more of a very powerful leader asking for help from the Pope and saying that it was for religious purposes. But uh, this religious leader kind of just wanted some more power, some more wealth and stuff like that. So he asked the Pope, which was Pope Urban, for uh, support in his military campaign against the uh, Turks. And then uh, the Pope basically grew his own army by saying, oh, if you join my cause and help me in my military campaigns, you're going to get forgiven for all your sins. So he did that. And then, he also said that you're going to get a better afterlife if you basically help me kill all these other people. So uh, first they were going to have this campaign where they go through a bunch of Muslim land and just capture a bunch of cities and stuff like that. And uh, so they went up to, it was, they were trying to take Jerusalem and Antioch and they went through Antioch pretty quick, and by the time they reached Jerusalem, they were kind of gassed out. They had no more motivation, no more energy. They were marching barefoot, so they were kind of just running out of supplies, running out of food, running out of energy. But uh, the Pope kind of rallied all these men by saying, oh, this is for God. You're going to get glory by God himself if you go in and take all this land back from uh, the Muslims. And so, they took back Jerusalem, and it was a massacre. It took, I think, a week to capture Jerusalem, and the streets were just covered in blood. They said that the streets were just flowing with blood because they were killing all the people and everything. So all the Jewish people, all the Muslim people, they were all getting killed. And then they were pillaging, too. They were taking all their stuff. So it was less of a religious campaign and more of a wealthy campaign to take more back. And then, uh, but after the success of the first crusade, they needed new Christian states to basically hold the power and maintain all these new uh, Christian establishments. And so that's where they formed four new powerful bodies. And one of them was the Knights Templar. And they were basically just tasked with defending Christian Holy Land and Christian Templars who were going on mission trips to basically spread the word of God and things. And so, they were very powerful. They gained power very quick because people thought, oh, this was an extremely important military group and they were necessary for protecting the Christian name and the Christian religion because the Christian pilgrims could not protect themselves, especially on these long routes. It would take them months to get to wherever they were trying to get and most of the time they would be robbers or even just other religions that didn't agree with them and so kind of they just get killed and so that's why the Templars were there and uh, they're also tasked with like defending Jerusalem and their headquarters was originally in Jerusalem but then Jerusalem got taken back by the Muslim people and then they were able to gain a lot of land in Europe so they gained land throughout Europe they gained a lot of influence and they become the pretty important political group too. They were getting involved in politics and uh, they did start to become corrupt with money and wealth. Uh, people were donating a lot, whether it was horses, gold, anything, people were just donating whatever. And uh, it was a very successful group, but uh, they reached a pretty quick end when other leaders kind of wanted to or they started to fear the power of the Knights Templar, so they started spreading accusations, um, basically just making false claims against the Knights Templar, saying things like they were heretics, they were sinning, doing bad things. Uh, none of it was ever proven either, and eventually it was uh, King Philip IV ordered the arrest of all Templars in 1307, and uh, to base, the Pope 
didn't really support this either because this is one of the Pope's basically personal militaries. So this provided a lot of protection for the Pope, a lot gave the Pope a lot of power and things like that. So the Pope did not agree with this and he was trying to basically break down his order of arresting all these Knights Templars. But uh, eventually uh, the king tortured the leaders of the Knights Templars and basically had them say, oh, we did all the things you said. And so they were kind of screwed no matter what, they were just backed into the corner. And then the, uh, King Philip executed the majority of them. And a lot of them kind of escaped, but the group was just destroyed and uh, they didn't have much hope. But the helmet was used later throughout their campaigns, the Crusades, the Knights Templar. It was a pretty popular helmet. It was called the Flat Top Great Helm. And it was very effective, but it was also very heavy and cumbersome. And so it was changed a lot throughout the medieval ages. And as technology advanced, they changed helmets up a lot. But um, that was a later helmet they used. And it was pretty successful. But yeah, that's a bit of history.